I fucked up my back earlier in the week. Like, what really? I, I, yeah, that's a great. So I woke up. My ribs hurt. My upper back hurt. Just everything hurt when I tried to move. It was not good. Breathing, not fun. Laughing, painful. I was thinking about it all day. Couldn't figure it out. I then mentioned to someone, yeah, I don't know what's wrong with my back. They said, didn't you fall the night before? I fell and I forgot. I was trying to figure out this mystery. I tripped. I fell as hard as maybe I've ever fallen in my house. It was no good. I cannot emphasize enough how hard I hit the fucking floor on, what, how, on in my wow, room. What caused you to fall? Okay, this is what it was. A, <laughs> it was. Uh, I got very. I had to use the bathroom. I was doing my little shimmy to get there because I have to shimmy through my room. And uh, I stepped on. Uh, <laughs> I stepped. <laughs> I had knocked over a cabinet earlier in the day, and I didn't realize that I knocked over a plastic sushi container. So while I was doing my shimmy, my foot went in the sushi <laughs> container. I did the splits, and I could do nothing but fall back. <laughs> and I lit. <laughs> you gotta clean your shit up. It's disgusting. You're slipping all over the place. You're slipping on old sushi, man. No, no, no. It was an empty container. It was perfectly clean. It was like the plastic, like, portable case you would have. I'm very impressed that, you know, you, with your ankles, you didn't do more damage. You, you somehow got out of that with an a without an ankle injury. And that's very yeah, impressive. Yeah, no kidding, man. Yeah, thankfully, no ankles were harmed in that fall. But <laughs> Stepping in a my sushi back was Maybe we're ready for the marathon then. Yeah, I've been thinking about that. That's, that's, that's been on my mind, for sure. <laughs> I, I'm recovering from a back injury at the moment, but as soon as the back injury is healed. I like the idea of you running a marathon when you still you struggle to move from bathroom to bedroom without stepping on sushi containers. Well, it's you know it's happened one time, and it only happened because I knocked something over earlier in the day. But you slipped over in the bathroom recently, like since face. You've eaten it straight forwards in the bathroom. <laughs> yeah, I did, but that was like I slid on my underwear, and then uh, I just had to fall forward. <laughs> There's nothing to grab. My only option was to grab the towel bar and I would just, I would just fall with me. I'm not going to take the towel bar out the wall with my fall. So I just had to land on my forehead. <laughs> I like these split second decisions. Like I could grab that, but that would result in the towel bar coming down, potentially damage. And this is all while you're falling. <laughs> so you just like yeah. throw your arms up. Like I'm going down. Yeah, no, it's, it's very, I, I, I use that time wisely, Gavin. When I'm falling, <laughs> I got a solid half second of thought where I'm, I'm calculating. You ever wonder why we're here? Oh. <laughs> it's one of life's great mysteries, isn't it? Whoa, you want to see where uh, that clip's from? And uh, all the other clips that you're going to be seeing with the new face regulation animation? Subscribe to face the podcast. Check it out now. Get a first membership and get it a day early. Uh, it's really all we could ask from you. Uh, also, don't scrump, please. No scrumping. <laughs>